Hello, this is Askanama Khan and I am doing internship on Ionic and Vue. I am working on a project using Ionic and Vue. So today I will clone that project on my local machine and will try to run it. Next I will create a directory to keep my project. So I will write this command to create a folder in my local machine. Uh, in terminal we can enter this command to create a folder. So I will just write the command mkdir and uh, write the name of the folder in which I have to keep my project. Now, now I will go in the folder and will simply write git clone command following uh, the link that I have copied from GitLab which is the link of the project and I will write over there and uh, the process of cloning will start uh, the link will ask me from username and password uh, then I will enter it and the process of cloning will start after this The cloning process is over and uh, now I will go to the project by this command and will open it in the code uh, in the text editor that I use that is Visual Studio Code. Now I will try to run it over here. So I will just open the terminal. and will write ionic serve command to run my project it is asking me to install ionic app script so i will simply say yes and the process of installing ionic app script will start automatically It will take some time to install it. The project is showing some error. So it is due to the npm. We have to install npm now. So the next step will be to install npm in our in my local machine. After installing npm, we will again run ionic serve command. As we can see, it is installed. So after this, we will write ionic serve to run the project again. project is showing error again because we do not have uh, the moment time zone installed in my project so I will just simply install it
looks like I have made some spelling mistakes, so I will write the code again. While writing any code, just make sure to write it with proper syntax, otherwise it won't run properly and it will throw an error. Now this time I have wrote the error properly so it runs, uh, it has executed and after that I will run the ionic serve command again to see that my project is running or not. But the project is giving error again so it is because we have again some uninstalled uh, things that we have to install. So the next process will be uh, that I will install the yellow spot ng truncate in my local machine. And the code for this will be in the following steps. This error is due to because I haven't used the uh, code properly and I haven't used the code with npm properly so I will write it again. I have made some spelling mistake so uh, it is because of this so now I will correct it and uh, will run the code again so to see that uh, it is executing or not uh, but it is throwing some error again. I will just check out what the mistake I am making uh, and I haven't put the space between that so when I put the space uh, the code is executing properly. So now it is executed and we will run our ionic serve command again to run the project. project is giving error again and it is because uh, I haven't uh, I, ha I didn't have any uh, thing for theme so I will install uh, the themes uh, of the project then I will use this command Oh, I just forgot to write the sudo command before it. So next I will put sudo command and will put the uh, code after that.
Next, I will update submodule. It will ask me for my username and password again. Next, I will update the recursive and remote by this command. Again, just uh, enter the username and password. Now I will run the ionic serve command again. The project is giving some sort of runtime error. So uh, I will write some code to remove this. After this, uh, I will write ionic serve command again. And yeah, the project is running successfully. So hope you like the video and uh, if you have any views, just try.